YouTube, how's it going? This is your boy, Jay Lives here, bringing you guys another episode of the Leicester City Career Mode. This is episode number eight. And today begins with a brand new goalkeeper signing. Now, I've been seeing a lot in the comments that we do need to bring in a brand new goalkeeper. Just in case Casper Schmeichel goes down with an injury or if something else happens to him. Because apart from Casper, I think we only have like 30 plus year old goalkeepers, I think like Danny Ward and I think uh, Yakupovic or whatever his name is, but we've gone and signed him anyway on a five year contract for 40 grand a week and if you need any more confirmation, here it is. I own an Andre Radu signing from Inter Milan for 17.7 .7 million. We tried to go back and forth, we tried to get it lower, I think I offered like 14 at the beginning and then I tried 15 but they wanted 17 Hello, we accepted it anyway but what England, better way to test out if Radu is going to be good enough than in the FA Cup round Jacob four the fixture in the first of four first, games moving. played here really today. Stuck in. now play, I've been also seeing a lot in the comment section that the ball gets put in as your rem chuck. It's the post behind the post that you guys want to be seeing more match highlights apart from the goals that we end up scoring in the game. So I'm this is what we've done is Dennis Pryor goes for goal. And a big save there. Lampty chests it down beautifully, whips the ball in, gets fouled. Goes back for a free kick. Pascal Gross whips one in. There's a bit of a mess about in the box. And look who it falls to. Adel Tarab. The ex-QPR man. He struck gold against Leicester City. And we are 1-0 down. Going into a couple minutes before... The halftime whistle goes as James well, Justin on the ball, like finding Yuri Tillemans. Player of the year, probably. Tillemans finding an Anarchy, oh, and Anarchy, he's and found the back of the net. Anarchy Williams. <laughs> there, there's something about this kid. I don't know what it is. He just loves scoring goals nowadays. And now, just looking at it right now, you're thinking... We, we got to pull something back because we've had all the possession, we've had all the shots, but hey, possession means nothing when you're coming back and winning games. And this ball goes up to Lamptey. Lamptey plays around the corner to Zakiri. Zakiri goes forward, finds Neil Malpai, and they make it 2-1 from their number nine. And it's, it's now gotten to the point where this is just getting ridiculous. And we gotta find something. We gotta have that sliver of hope. And from our goal kick, which starts out from our new signing. Pofana to Justin to Damari. Finds Anaki. Anaki into Castagna, who we brought on at center mid. To Hamza Chattery. Chattery back heels it to Dennis. Dennis Pryor finds Anaki. Stops. Turns. And on his weak foot. Finds the back of the net. Anarchy Williams has sent Leicester fans into a frenzy. Brighton fans can't believe it. Leicester fans are losing their minds in the away end. Goalkeeper, I think that was Matty Ryan, can't believe it. I can't believe it. Anarchy stops, scoops, and on his weak foot, which I think is a two-star at this stage. From a different Somehow he's managed to find the back of the net. Leicester fans are going wild. Brighton fans head in hands. And we go into yet another FA Cup replay. Again, there's something about Anaki Williams this year where I'm just like, well, why didn't I sign him in any of my other career modes? Has he always been this good? I mean, he's probably always been this good. I just never got around to using him. But still inside the transfer window now, we got offers from Madison and Soyuncu, which we have both declined because, well, they've arguably been two of our best players this season. Which now leads us 
into the second leg of the Catabao Cup semi-finals against Manchester City. If you guys haven't seen the first leg, then pff, you, you, you missed out on a pretty wild game. As we've, I'm going to spoil it before this pops up, so if you haven't seen it, you may as well go back. We've somehow managed to beat the Citizens 3-1 at the Etihad, and before we go into that game, we have a look at our top scorers and our team, and it's Jamie Vardy. With 32 contributions in 34 games, I think 23 of them being in the Prem, he's proving that still, at 34 years of age, he can still get the job done. As we've now head into the Yes He Had for the second leg affair. Again, for some bizarre reason, we just love to score goals against Manchester City. And I think in this game, it doesn't prove any wrong than that. As on the other side of the coin, we either have Arsenal or Wolves to go up against in the Carabao Cup Finals at Wembley. Four minutes in, Bernardo Silva finds Raheem Sterling. Sterling takes it down beautifully, whoops one in, headed away by Sterling, and blocked by Ndidi from the shot there by Bernardo, and just like that, we're already on the attack. Madison finding Tillemans, Tillemans, beautiful first time ball into Harvey Barnes, takes a touch, whips one into the middle, and look who's there again. It is Jamie flipping Vardy. Still proving at 35, he can get it done. But not even five minutes after that. Tillemans finding Barnes who finds Jamie Vardy free as a bird. Is he going to go all the way? No, he isn't. He's going to whip it into the box. And Anarchy Williams has struck gold yet again. Anarchy the Invincible is what we're calling him. Because no matter what you do, you can't seem to stop him from scoring goals. And going into... Going into the halftime whistle, we are just loving life at the moment. 2-0 up. They've only had one shot. And we, we've just been all over them at this moment in time. And just a couple seconds after the start of the second half, Rodri on it, finding De Bruyne. De Bruyne to Foden, playing down the right-hand side. Into Cancelo, back to Foden, finding Aguero. Aguero finds Bernardo Silva, and look who's there to recover, Ricardo Pereira. In terms of our defense, he's been arguably the best that we've had so far. Look at that for a ball from Castagna, finding Harvey Barnes. Harvey Barnes gets deflected there from Tillemans, Tillemans to Madison, Madison hits it from Tillemans first time. And the first time lofted pass from Madison. Madison to Tillemans. He hits it first time and an incredible save there from the Brazilian shot stopper. But it's just not enough sometimes. But Madison gets robbed off the ball as it goes its way to Bernardo Silva. Finding Benjamin Mendy. Mendy to Raheem Sterling. Sterling whips that one over. Finds Mendy. Hits it first time. It was offside anyway. Fernandinho puts this one into De Bruyne. De Bruyne and a big save from Casper Schmeichel. 35, proving he can still hang with the best of all. Bernardo Silva gets the one back into Fernandinho. Plays it back to Bernardo. And look who's there again is Yuri Tillemans. Madison, beautiful ball into Sandro. Sandro, first time pass. Getting it past the defender. And Aki Williams finds the back of the net. And at this point, we are just smooth sailing. We've gone to the Etihad, and we've put three past them. I mean, we've done it before. It was Benjamin Mendy sliding in wildly. We're getting past. I think that was either I'm Eric Laporte or Ruben Diaz. But you can't stop Anaki once he is through on goal. Yeah, you just can't stop him. And look at that. He's just hanging out, just doing the neighborhood pose, and Naki Williams is second in the Catabao Cup, and we've gone and absolutely peppered them, 3-0 on aggregate, 6-1 the final score, 
Who are we meeting in the Catabao Cup final? You're probably going to have to stick around until the end of this episode as we go and simulate this game against Leeds United. We do come away with a 3-2 victory. Harvey Barnes with a brace alongside a goal from Dennis Pryor. And with an hour on deadline day, going over the top deals of the window, like Latar Martinez to Man United, and Mobley to Real Madrid, Thomas Muller going to Barca, Henderson and Aubameyang going to Bayern Munich, Papu Gomez actually going to Barca, Gabi Jesus going to Barca, and <laughs> Dial Upamecano to Manchester United, even though in real life he signed for Bayern Munich. Well, that's neither here nor there. And uh, after this transfer window, we've got our first scout report back. And we've found a bit of a good talent in, um, in Ellis Barry. But, I mean, if, if you have a look at him right now, he's got the potential. He's got time to grow, but... What development plan we're going to put on them, that's that's going to be up to you guys. And I'm telling you right now, Gaspard Bazin, the second he turns 16, you know damn well we are going to promote him to the senior squad. And we're going to give him all the game time because I want him to literally be the next coming of Zidane. And <laughs> look at where we're back to. In the third of four games, it's the replay between ourselves and Brighton and Hull Valbian. But this time, can we get it done in the replay? Well, we're about to find out. As Webster intercepts the ball, finding Eve Basuma. Basuma plays the one over the top, finding Yuremchuk. And just looking back at this game, I'm very, very happy with the way that it ended. And it's, it's just because of the way that we play going later down the, down the, down the line. It's to Rapt does really, really well there to turn his man. But a big save there from our Romanian goalkeeper as Anaki Williams gets just taken off the ball. Ball goes all over the place. Goes out for a corner kick. James Madison. And look at Anaki. He rises high and finds netting. For, I believe the fourth or maybe fifth time in this episode. No. Yeah, it is the. I think it's the fifth time he's found netting in this episode alone. First, it was Yuri Tielemans in the previous episode. Now, it's Anaki Williams. And, I mean, stats, they're pretty much even, to say the least. Gross. If you really look at it from that perspective of the fact that we're, we're, we're good on the possession, but we can't seem to get forward enough as Radu makes another great save. He looks like he is worth all of that 17 million until Basuma gets it, plays it to Veltman, into Pascal Gross. He finds a Rigi. What's he doing in a Brighton shirt? He's finding the back of the net. That's what he's doing. Divock Origi has brought the game back level. And at this point, you're thinking, oh my god, not again. Well, we've been through this once. We're not going to do this again. Please, no. As we now need something. As look at Wesley. Wesley Fofana, he just fights for the ball back. Whatever he can do, he will do. Madison, now on it, ball roll, finds and Paul Ms. Mendy, plays, well, tries to find Madison, gets deflected to Tillemans, plays it back to Mendy, finds Tillemans, Tillemans to Anaki, Anaki to Damari, little bridge, he, he's good bit of dribbling here to play it well, finding James Justin, J Justin, finding Tillemans, Tillemans to Anaki, a little bit of trickery here. Gets taken off the ball a little bit. Anaki gets back, finds Madison, and finds the back of the net. And just like that, Leicester City have the lead again. Again. There, there's something about Anaki Williams. I don't know what it is. He's got that something, something. He's got that something special about him. But we all know what James Madison can do. What a finish from the homegrown Englishman. Honestly, Matty Ryan, 
could have been doing better there. Well, just look at the reactions but, on the touchline. Hey, they well, just what can you do sometimes? What can you do? You can't do much when Madison is scoring goals against you. And well, at this point, we're looking this we're looking for a third. We're looking to kill this game just off so Brighton don't have a chance to come back and win it. As Madison on the ball, finding Anarchy Williams. Anarchy finds James Madison. At this point, I honestly should have just shot it there with his weak foot and just taking the result as it is. Finding Tillamats. Tillamats for the drag back gets denied from the Brighton defense, but it doesn't matter anyway because we've gotten one over Brighton and Hove. And we are through to the fifth round of the FA Cup. We're now getting into the meat and potatoes of this competition. But can we win the whole thing? I like to say we can, but I think we're going to... My goal is to make it to the... Either the quarters or the semis. That's what I want to do. I want to at least make it to Wembley. If we make it to the final, that's a different story for another day. But now we're going into the fourth and final game of today's episode. As we go up against West Bromwich Albion. Now Baggies. And I'm coming into this game with all of the confidence. Knocking out Man City in the Catabao Cup semis. Knocking out Brighton in the FA Cup. You're surely thinking we can do well in the league. We should at least get a victory here today. As Dennis Pryant now on the ball, finding Jamie Vardy. Vardy into Chattery. Chattery, lovely bit of dribbling, finds Vardy. Vardy plays it to Sandro. Sandro stops, finds Harvey Barnes. Goes for the finesse, but is blocked away there. But two minutes after that, Hamza beautifully won there. Vardy. Beautiful hold up, finds Dennis Pryor, free as a bird. He's not being caught up to for long because Dennis Pryor has found the back of the net. And yeah, did you see what I did there? Because we got past for long, as there was a West Brom center back called for long. But okay, I'll, I'll just stop right there now. Dennis Pryor, what a run, playing all the way from deep, and he's found the back of the net. And at this point, Leicester City are on cloud nine at this moment. Taking down Man City in the Catabao Cup. Taking down Brighton in the FA Cup. Dennis Pryor scoring his fifth in the Prem. We're, we're just sitting here. We're enjoying it. We're enjoying every single thing about this episode so far. And going into the halftime... At the halftime break, two shots, two on target. And you see that we're starting off with a bit of a celebration. That's because West Bromwich well, Albion scored. Now, as you can see, I think that was Dean Garner, who that was. just and teased that one up beautifully. On. And it's yes, Carlin it Grant, boy, of all people, to hit well. it on the volley. Goal. And find the back of the net. I mean, there was nothing we could have done anyway to begin with. But Colin Grant with his 12th in the Premier League. And I'm thinking, right, come on. We we cannot draw with West Bromwich Albion. Body. We find Vardy into Dennis. Situation. Look at that for a little bridge there. Getting past Ivanovic. And he doesn't have the legs, but Ivanovic. What a tackle that was. Now come to the end of the game. Mateus Pereira plays a one over the top. Finds Jake Livermore. Who is offside anyway. But we come away with. A point gained, but two points lost at the end of it all. Vardy getting another assist, but he's scoring goals anywhere else. It's just something that you don't really expect to see from us. Because you're seeing this, and you're like, surely you should be getting a win, but we come away with the draw. But, I mean, well, when you when you look at the stats, West Brom should have honestly won that game. And we uh, finish off the Premier League right where we began the episode, in fourth position. But in the Europa League, we've got Real Sociedad in the round of 32. And a couple of episodes ago, Roma did top the group, and they are going up against... Lost Lille. So, 
who would I have had in that situation? I mean, I probably would have had lost Lil, but one final look at the team scoring sheet and Vardy with 25 and 11 in 36 games. He's 34 and banging him in when he wants to. But that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like if you enjoyed the vid. Sub if you're new. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next one.